look completely different from the rest of this video. I'm just going to put it out there right now. <laughs> um, I've got my crazy lion hair going on. It's a completely different day, but as I was sitting down and editing this whole video for you guys, I realized my intro footage had gone somewhere. I honestly don't even know where it went. So I just had to sit down and refilm the intro for you guys. But yeah, it is. it may be a different day, but I still feel the same for the rest of this video. So anyways, today's video is super exciting because it's been long awaited. A lot of you guys have been waiting to see this video. Quite honestly, I've been waiting to do this video, but it's finally here. I am testing out Charlotte Tilbury makeup for you guys. Um, I have used Charlotte Tilbury lip products for quite some time, but I've never used anything else from her makeup line. So I wanted to give a bunch of things to try for you guys, try and do pretty much a full face um, so I really can test out a bunch of different pieces from her line and just give you guys my full honest opinion on everything. So yeah, that's basically what today's video is going to be about. A lot of you guys seem to love when I test out makeup brands here, so I will always continue to do it. If you guys have brands you want me to try out, feel free to comment them down below in the comment section. And yeah, that's basically it. I'm not going to talk forever. I just wanted to do this intro for you guys real quick. So I hope you guys enjoy. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Hello guys. Okay. So we're just going to jump right into doing my makeup with the Charlotte Tilbury stuff. So also if you hear noises, Penny's got a bone and she's really excited about it. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start by putting some sunscreen on it. This is Super Goop's Everyday Sunscreen. Um, it's always important to wear sunscreen, but I especially have to wear sunscreen very often, if you can tell, all these bumps and stuff right here. I just got laser done today, so yeah. I have to be very careful and I have to cover my skin very well with sunscreen, so. Um, that is always incorporated into one of the first steps before I put makeup on. Side note, I just realized my nails are absolutely horrible, but we're getting those fixed very soon. Jumping right into the Charlotte Tilbury stuff. I literally have the whole box right here. I haven't even opened anything or used anything. I've been like dying to use everything. So finally, I get to do this with you guys. Um, we're gonna jump right in and we're gonna start using these products. All right, so the first product we're gonna try is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. Uh, this product has been raved about a ton. Basically, it's like an under your foundation or even if you just don't wanna wear foundation, kind of glow makeup. It's It looks like a foundation and I think a lot of people got confused by it, but when you see it in person, I can see like the shimmery reflect and I can tell it's kind of like a thin, thin consistency. It's more like something you would put underneath your makeup or wear on its own. So yeah, for a superstar glow, apply all over the face as a flawless filter on top of the foundation if you want a little extra coverage. So it might have like a tiny bit of coverage, but um, let's just see. So I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. I did pick up this brush. It's the Hollywood Complexion Dual Ended Brush. This is like highly rated on the website. A lot of times what I do is I just shop in the best seller section. <laughs> so already this looks so glowy and pretty. Okay, so next, you guys know that I am basically a minimal makeup kind of girl. So I am just going to kind of go in with some concealer. I did pick up two different things. I picked up a concealer wand and then I also picked up a contour um, wand. I picked up the shade Fair Medium in the contour and then I picked up the shade Fair. In this concealer. I really hope that this is the right shade. It looks like it, but you know, when you're online, you really can't tell. So for my concealer, um, if you guys have watched my videos in the past where I do my facial makeup, I honestly only put it where I feel like I need it. And a lot of times it's just in the center of the face. I'm going to ignore all of this down here um, and just kind of leave it be just cause I'm a little spotty after getting laser and I don't really want to disrupt what's going on. So I'm just gonna put it like in the center of my face. I did get laser on my mustache, so that's honestly, that's going to get covered. Um, this color will do. Put it underneath my eyes. My nose and mustache area, my chin, basically all over. <laughs> I'm just going to blend it out with this same brush. 
I don't use sponges anymore, actually. I haven't used sponges in a very long time. Um, I just feel like sometimes it's a waste of time. <laughs> I use them on clients, but on myself. Whatever can get the makeup on fast enough and look good, I don't really care. I definitely don't do my makeup like how I used to, that's for sure. Like back in the day. Wow, that looks really pretty and it covers really nice. To make a little camera adjustment there. Okay, so next, now that I have the concealer on, um, it looks really good, by the way. Very pretty on the skin. I'm really happy with that. Um, next, what I'm gonna do is contour, bronze up my skin a little bit. I'm gonna use the Hollywood Contour Wand, and like I said, this one's in the shade Fair Medium. Um, this is actually really cool. You can turn it on and off so that way it doesn't spill out, which is amazing because I do have some products that are like in tubes like this from other brands and they get everywhere no matter if you have a cap on. It's just, it's insane. So I like that little feature. Um, so I'm just going to squeeze a little bit out of this and I'm just going to put it where I want to bronze. I don't really contour. I just bronze my skin a little bit. I'm just gonna use this same brush. I don't really mind using the same brush a lot of times, um, but wow, actually now that I'm like blending this out, this blends out so nicely. This is actually kind of insane. Usually when you get like cream contours like this, they take forever to blend out and they don't look as good, but this looks really nice. Ooh, okay. Um, I liked this shade a lot. So if you're looking and if you're a similar skin tone to me, if you can get lighter than me or darker than me, I feel like this is a really good like in-between color. I am going on vacation in Florida next week and I feel like this will even look really good once I get tan. So like that, I did pick up the powder, the infamous, what is this called? The Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I'm really excited about this. A lot of you were like, you need that in your life, no matter what. Um, really hard to pick a shade though. I was so scared I was gonna pick the wrong color, but I think I picked the right one. So I have a powder brush right here. This is my Luxie Tapered Highlighter Brush. I love this for powder. And this is the powder. This might be a little bit dark, but let's, let's just see. I picked up the shade Medium. So we'll just see how that looks. Mm, might be a little, little too dark. I wouldn't mind having a light, the light shade for like underneath my eyes. Cause I legit just set, I set my whole face with one powder. And usually it's a translucent. I've never actually used a colored powder in like six years. In a while. It's not bad though, like it's working. Still really pretty, like my skin looks very smooth. Hmm. I like this. This thing I did get, this is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. This was like highly rated. Um, this is basically like the contour and highlight palette that like they're famous for. Um, I did get the shade Fair Medium. I had to like look at that for a second. So it just came like this. This is like a, is this shimmery? Yeah. This is, a, oh wow, that feels like butter. Wow. Oh my God. That's very smooth. Okay. This is a shimmery highlight and then this is like their sculpting bronzer contour shade. So I'm going to use, oh, hold on. I'm gonna use the contour first just with my Royal Langnickel powder brush. And I just like to really dust a little bit in there. I don't like to go crazy. This is really pretty. It's like not muddy. It's got a very nice tone to it. Definitely buildable. Really great on top of the cream contour, which is nice. Um, I did not, the only thing I didn't get was a blush um, because all the colors I wanted, they were sold out of. I think there was like this one that was like their popular shade. It was like in between a blush and a bronzer um, and it was completely sold out. They had none left. So 
I decided to skip a blush, and since I'm not really a huge blush fan anyways, it didn't really affect me as much, so I'm just gonna use this Laura Geller Tropic Hues blush that I usually wear, and just put a smidge on my cheeks. I don't really like a lot of blush, so that's fine for me. Next, I'm gonna put on this highlighter that's in this palette. Um, let's see how well this looks. Like a natural, natural dewy, fresh highlight. Like it's not too much. I don't like those like blinding Instagram highlights where they're like in your face and someone literally looks like they have white on their face. Not into it. Not into it, ladies. And if you want me to do that to your makeup, I'm not going to. <laughs> this is a really pretty highlight. This is like natural, natural pretty. I like it a lot. Wow. I am so impressed with how well my skin looks right now, being the fact that I just had my whole face and neck and everything zapped with a laser, and my skin looks this smooth. Wow. Amazing. Love it. Okay. So, next we're gonna move on to eyes, brows, mascara. Really not a lot left to do. So I did pick up an eye color. This is the Eyes to Memorize Long Lasting Easy Color. And I got the shade Marie Antoinette, which is so pretty. Such a pretty bronzy kind of color. So I'm actually going to use a brush for this and I'm just going to dip right into this and apply it onto my eyes. I'm gonna see how well this looks with like a brush applying it. Also, I'm gonna do this without a primer. I wanna see how well it holds up without a primer. I have super oily eyelids and like I need a primer normally to make shadows last on me. But I'm really curious to see like how well this lasts without a primer. Because usually with like potted creamy eyeshadows like this, they last pretty well and they have like a built-in primer in them, but I haven't honestly found one that stays put and looks pretty all day long until you take your makeup off without a primer. So I'm really curious. This is a really pretty color. I like that it's not too severe. Um, I usually stick to bronzy colors on my eyes if I ever wear eyeshadow. Most of the time I will just pop in whatever bronzer I'm wearing that day and I'll put it right on my eyes and kind of just put it all over the place to add some definition. Um, but when I can find like a good shimmery bronzer that spreads evenly and looks pretty, I will wear it and this looks so good. Like I love this color. The hard thing I think about bronze eyeshadows is getting the color tone right so it's more brown and not like orange you know what i mean so this is actually really pretty like there's no orange in it it's a pure bronze i was really in between what kind of colors i wanted because there was a really pretty like rose goldy one too um but then i was like you know what i'm a bronze kind of girl so <laughs> i got this one and i'm really impressed by this it spreads out super nice like you can get this spread out into your crease and not have to worry about using like a transition shade or anything like i can spread that nicely and it looks it looks pretty like i'm done done but what i'm gonna do actually is i'm gonna take this highlighter that's in the bronze and contour palette and i'm gonna put that right in the inner corner i'm really curious on how well this powder is gonna hold up on me because i'm really oily if you guys have watched me before i can get oily real quick so i'm really curious how it holds up right now i just look fresh and glowy, which I love. Don't get me wrong, I love that. So let's hope I just stay fresh and glowy and I don't move to a different stage where it's like, I'm gonna oil your car. <laughs> so next I'm just gonna do the brows and I didn't pick up any brow products. I don't even know if she has brow products on her website. And I didn't pick up a mascara because I have my favorite mascara of life. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic. You guys know I honestly won't ever wear anything else. Um, for my brows, I'm using the Isom Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette. It's one of my favorites. I normally use the Kelly Baker Brow. I do have it actually here, right here. I'm all out though. I do normally use Kelly Baker Brow's Brow Pencil in the shade Brown but I ran out and while I was in Provincetown with the powder group, the owner of Isom, Alphonse, 
he um, gave everybody some brow pencils and fun little products for our kits. So I decided to steal it and use it for myself because <laughs> I was out and I needed my brows looking good. I never do my brows well when I have an up close mirror. I never, ever. I'm gonna put some brow gel in. This is the Milk Makeup Brow Gel in the shade Herb. All right guys, so this is the completed makeup. I'm actually really excited on this makeup, to be honest. Um, I did not use a lip color from Charlotte though. I actually just used one of my own glosses. It's the Iconic London Lip Plumping Gloss in Love Struck. I just had this kind of on hand. Um, I've used her lip products before in the past, so I kind of wanted to try things I've never tried before, and I'm also just a simple lip balm kind of girl, so I wasn't really feeling getting a lip color per se, but I'm happy with the rest of the makeup so far. I think it looks super pretty. Um, to be honest, I've never had my makeup look this glowy and fresh, but without looking super oily. Like I'm really impressed right now. Usually with me having oily skin, glowing products don't really work well. And usually by me finishing, by the end of me finishing my makeup, my skin looks horrible. And right now it looks really darn good. So I'm really excited to see how well everything wears today. I have to go do some clients this afternoon. So I'm gonna go work, do that stuff, and then come back and fill you guys in and how well it wore. Usually when I am working, I am in the zone and sometimes I sweat, sometimes things transfer and move. So um, yeah, I'm excited to share with you guys on how well this stuff held up, especially on my skin being really oily so with that being said i'll check in with you guys in a little bit and give you guys an update all right so it's later in the day um just got home <laughs> i just did two clients hair and makeup so i kind of was like busting through this makeup i don't know what it is when i do hair and makeup but i literally like everything on me looks horrible by the end of it and they look amazing which is fine they need to look amazing all in all my skin looks great like even though i'm super oily i just touched up with a little bit of dermablend powder i think what i'm gonna have to do i was trying to get away from this but i think i'm still gonna have to keep a loose translucent powder around because my under eye concealer was creasing a little bit and i think it's only because i didn't set it properly like i would with a normal concealer so I think I'm still gonna have to use Dermablend underneath my eyes and that will solve that problem. Um, and just use the Charlotte Tilbury on my face is like a touch up powder and stuff like that. But um, I did get super oily, but the only thing is, is that my face, it, it didn't break up. Like my skin still looks smooth and poreless and like nothing was wrong with it, um, which is awesome. Like usually when I get super oily, it like breaks up down here. I get like a weird mustache going on and like, it just looks so bad. But this did not happen. Like my skin still looks super healthy. It just looks super hydrated and healthy, which is totally fine with me. I love that. So yeah, I'm really impressed with how well this stuff wore in just a few hours. Um, so A plus, I love it. Other thing that happened that I did notice with this makeup, which I'm, Penny, which I'm kind of, a little bit bummed out about is that the cream eyeshadow did crease and like bunch up on me without a primer. So that's okay. Um, I'm still gonna have to use a primer. That's fine, that's kind of normal, but yeah, I broke up. <laughs> it's fine, I still love this color. It's like the perfect bronze for me. So I will do anything in my power to still keep using this color. So I'm okay with that. I was just curious to see if it actually would wear pretty well without a primer and it did not for me. So that's the only major downfall that I experienced with any of these products. Bronzer held up good. Everything else looks amazing. This is the only thing that actually caused like any issue and it's like an easy fix issue. So I have to say all in all, Charlotte Tilbury got an A plus from me. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's basically it for this video. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions, of course, down below in the comment section or if there's another makeup brand you want me to test out for you guys. I'm happy to do it. Um, yeah, so just comment those down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you guys in my next video very soon. I have one coming very soon. <laughs> Bye guys.